The Skills for Climate Change project is innovative, uh, mainly because of the way that we've developed the tools to address uh, a gap in the market, a training market or training offer that, that we didn't feel was being addressed through any other means. And that relates to addressing the lack of confidence in the, the market to, for people to invest in training in, in skills for climate change, the confusion that's out there and also the lack of engagement arising from the confusion and the lack of confidence. We've developed a suite of five learning tools in different formats which enable more learners to be reached. Uh, one of those tools is Future Proofing Your Career and what we've done with that tool is to highlight uh, what, why skills are needed for climate change, what skills are needed, both technical and the additional skills like being able to advise on grants and how to, you know, basically to improve houses, the approaches to take and then how to get those skills in, in terms of which skills will be recognised by industry schemes such as the Green Deal Installer Scheme and then which qualifications uh, are the main qualifications they need to be working towards. We've also developed a tool on the Code for Sustainable Homes and with that we've taken an approach where not just focusing on new homes but focusing on how the code can be used with existing homes and that's enabled us to, really to show a slightly different approach which we consider to be innovative because there's going to be a huge amount of existing homes that exist you know, in 2050 and if the approaches that are taken with new homes aren't applied to existing homes we're going to be you know, in, in, in trouble in terms of achieving climate change targets um, and, and general sort of energy improvements. We've also developed some toolbox talks and they've been used in a variety of different ways where uh, they can be used within colleges uh, as part of a workshop session, on site as part of a training session, in a canteen or even just used as a reference material. Uh, and in a similar way we've got a mobile app which again gives more access to different people where they can look at the, the mobile app at a time and in a place that suits them. The key thing is that innovation is often seen as something that's high tech or you know, very, very sort of complex and, and so on. What, we, what we've decided to do so is address a gap in the market uh, with some good success in terms of the feedback from the learners in the project. And we are removing confusion, building confidence and encouraging engagement. And for us, that's the key part of the innovation is that it wasn't happening before and it is happening now. And we believe that it will continue to happen with the phase two of the project where we're going to roll the existing tools out further and uh, reach more learners but also add new learning tools to the existing set which will broaden the, the scope of offer. But one of the particular uh, topics we're going to focus on next is the Green Deal and insulation. And insulation of hard to treat homes is one of the biggest challenges for the country. There's around 7 million homes with uh, walls that are very hard to treat. And if we don't develop the skills and uh, the capacity in the installer network to address that particular market, then that will be a huge shortfall in improving the existing building stock. So again, it's a gap in the market that we're trying to plug through creative and innovative uh, tools.